So let's say you're a plugin developer or you are a creator of themes and you want your potential customers to test out your products before they actually purchase them. Now this can be very, very tricky, but however, it can be a really good idea because you're giving them the chance to play around with the plugin or to have a feel of your theme before they actually purchase. Now I've tried so many several ways to try and achieve this and I couldn't, but when I came across ZipWP, I was really amazed that they had this feature built in. Let's dive in and let me show you how it works. So over here we are, I'm on ZipWP. I'm just going to go ahead now and log in. So we're going to pretend that we want our potential customers to take a look at, let's say Astra and also Spectra. So let's go ahead and set up our website. Now setting up a website is very easy. All you have to do is to come over here to create new blank site. And then I'm just going to call this demo and then click on create site. I'm going to click on login and just like that I'm logged into my brand new WordPress website. So the next step now is to install all the tools. So what I need first of all here is my theme. So I'm going to come over here to themes, add new theme and I'm going to install Astra. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install and then activate. All right, great. So now Astra has been installed and activated. The next product that I need to install is Spectra. So I'm going to go ahead now to plugins and then click on add new plugin and then I'm going to search for Spectra. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on install now. Now, so right now Spectra has been installed. So let's go ahead and open a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new page. So we're just going to call this page demo like that and then we're going to publish it. So this is where we can add, you know, a few items. So let's first of all head over here to our container. I'm going to add a basic container here. And then inside here, I can also go in and add another one. And then I can start adding all my elements. So let's say I want to add, you know, a heading. I can add my heading like that, you know, center it. So as you can see, this is pretty much how Spectra works. Perhaps I want to add a countdown timer. And then below that, maybe I want to add a button. So as you can see, these are all elements from Spectra and they work really, really well. All right, so let's go ahead and save now that you've seen how it works. So the next step now is you want that when people go onto this website, they can actually go in and log in, play around with these tools before they actually purchase. Now to achieve that, you want to come back over here now to your ZipWP dashboard. So over here, you need to target the site that we've just created. And here it is, it's called demo. So what you want to do is to head over now to these three little dots here on the top and then just click on that. So what we need now is to create blueprint. Okay. So with this blueprint, there's a few things that we need to do. So first of all, we want to give this a title. So I'm going to call this Spectra demo like that. And then of course you can give it a description if you want to over here. So I'm just going to add dot, dot, dot. Right. So here's where things get really exciting. So here it's asking us the type. So this can be a publicly shareable or you can set it up as a product demo. And this is what you want to choose. You want to make sure that you select product demo like that. Next over here now it says site lifetime and then you can head over here and set your time. You want it live. So let's say each user, when they sign on to the website to take a quick look at it, you can set this to one hour and then the website deconstructs itself, or you can set it to four hours like that. So after four hours, the website just goes away. It just resets. Okay. So I think four, four hours is reasonable, but in your case, it depends, you know, what you may want. So I'm going to leave this as it is as well, like that. Now there's also another option, which is really cool, which is over here on email collection, you can actually choose to collect emails, but for this to work, you're going to need a webhook. Okay. So if you know how to use webhooks, this is what you want to go ahead and do. Add your webhook here and uh, you can use short triggers for that, or you can use Zapier and that would work really fine. Okay. So here it also has an auto login feature. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm now going to go ahead and click on create. All right. So now my demo site is being created and we can see it by coming over here to the top where it says creating your blueprint. Now, once this is done, we're going to be able to log in and play around with those features. Now it, it can be very difficult to try and showcase all your features in a video before your customers purchase it. So this, in my opinion, is the best way to actually showcase your website. All right. So now that I have this done, 
you can see here I'm on the demo side of things. So what I can do now is I can head over here and take a quick look here on Edit Blueprint. So here on Edit Blueprint, let's say you want to go in and make some additions or updates. This is where you want to come in and, you know, add your information, rename it. If it's version one, maybe perhaps you can say Spectra Demo version one, and then you can update it with, you know, other information. So that's pretty cool. So here's the blueprint link. Now, this is the link, which is the link you're going to give your potential customers. So I've just clicked here to copy it. So I'm going to open now incognito window. So I'm going to come over here and let's head over to incognito window. Hit enter. So what's going to happen now is it's now giving me my demo name. So it's Spectra demo version one. And this is with the description and then I can launch. Now notice that it says this site will expire in four hours. Now it's very important because obviously if you leave it for longer, then you're going to have so many instances of all your customers trying to play around with it. Anyway, next I'm going to click on launch. Now notice what happens. This is now installing that whole site, which has Spectra and also Astra. So I can actually go in now and start playing around with it. So this is just an example, but in your case, this will be your plugin that you are showcasing on the site. So here we go. So, so far I know I created a page called demo, but what's important here is I have Spectra here. So if I come over here to my plugins, we see that Spectra is installed. If I come over here to my appearance, I can see that Astra is also installed. Now let's head over to all the pages and you're going to notice that the page that I created called demo is actually right here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click on view just take a quick look at it and there we go it has my countdown timer and my demo heading and the button now I can go in and click on edit and start playing around with all these uh, features now it doesn't matter what page you open right now I just opened this demo page but you can open whatever page you want so let's say I'm playing around with this I just want to see how it works I can go in delete that perhaps add something else so let's click on this plus button browse all now I can take a quick look here maybe I want to add an FAQ and now I have my FAQ here, but I want this over at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm playing around with this and trying to see, you know, how it works. I can go to my style here and align left if I wanted to, center it and gap between boxes. Maybe I want to reduce that. So you can see here, I can play around with a few features and over here, my FAQs. Again, I can go in and update this delete some information. Okay, so moving on, maybe I want to give this a bit of a background color. I can go to my style and go to my color here and let's choose a basic color. This is just for demo purposes only. I'm just playing around with this to see, you know, how it works. Okay, so that's me demoing this. Again, I can come over here, add another container, and this time it's gonna be a single column like that. Okay, so perhaps maybe at this point, I'll be like, okay, maybe I like how this works and I'm pretty cool. Remember that if you're collecting emails, after you've collected the email, you can also do some follow-ups and send an email out you know, with an offer and perhaps maybe with more tutorials of how you know to use this. So they can always go back in again and what? and sign up. So again, here we have a marketing button. So you can see here we have a massive button, but anyway, you get the idea. So I have my own demo on sitecrafter.com. So this is a Divi framework that I'm promoting. So I noticed that maybe it would be a good idea for my potential customers to come in and play around with Sitecrafter framework before they purchase it. So when they click here on this button here, it takes them to this link where they can start playing around with Sidecrafter. So as you can see here, this is demo version 1.5.1.5. And if I click on launch, it will log in and this will expire in one hour. So that is how you can set up your demo sites using zip w key zip p okay all right anyway guys thank you very much for watching i've left the link in the video description below go ahead check it out and uh, i'd appreciate it if you use my affiliate link until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care